the Virginia State Senator, uh, State Delegate, I should say, Bob Marshall. Uh, he's an important uh, person in the Virginia uh, legislature. He's in fact he's running in a primary against George Allen for the Senate seat, the U.S. Senate seat. Uh, he's the guy who has uh, uh, introduced the fetal personhood bill, meaning that if your um, fertilized eggs would have legal rights, sitting in a petri frickin' dish somewhere. You know, you know what they do with fertilized eggs if there's no takers? Eventually, they throw them in the garbage, right? Now, all of a sudden, you couldn't throw any of them in the garbage because they're all independent human beings. Okay. All right. Anyway, so he introduced that. Uh, he's the one that introduced the transvaginal uh, ultrasound. Okay. Remember, in Virginia, they were going to make women do transvaginal ultrasounds, literally force them to be penetrated to do these ultrasounds if they were going to go have an abortion. Uh, and then it became so controversial that uh, even the Republican governor uh, walked away from that bill. That's this guy, okay? So uh, he is now blocking Tracy Thorne uh, Beglin's um, uh, position uh, on the general district court. Uh, he was, uh, you know, appointed uh, to that court and under normal circumstances would have taken this seat, but uh, uh, Representative uh, or State Delegate Bob Marshall has blocked it. Why? Because he's gay. I mean, I don't know about Marshall. I mean, uh, Tracy Thorne uh, Bagland is gay. Um, and he's open about it. He doesn't hide it. He's not a hypocrite, et cetera. He's just, he just happens to be a gay American. And apparently, if you're gay, that's it. No way. No way. You can never be a judge, according to this Republican in Virginia, influential Republican. Uh, he says, uh, not only is this guy gay, but he says he's, quote, an aggressive activist for the pro-homosexual agenda. You know what that means? Why, how dare you come out of the closet? What are you doing? Look, if you were in the closet and you were pretending to be straight and you were really, really embarrassed and guilty about your existence and your identity, well, then maybe I wouldn't automatically be against you. Probably I would, but you know, I, at least I'd have a consideration. But you're actually gay and saying that gay people should have rights. <laughs> Pro-homosexual agenda. I, I cannot believe you're an aggressive activist for your own rights. This is exactly the same kind of guy who would have said, oh, these blacks down here in Virginia, they are such aggressive activists for the pro-civil rights agenda. Yeah, because they wanted civil rights. In other words, they wanted the same rights as everybody else, that they were guaranteed in the Constitution. Um, and by the way, this uh, gentleman, Tracy Thorne uh, Beglin, says, look, I'm going to recuse myself in any case where uh, my impartiality would be questioned. I don't think he has to do that. Do straight judges have to recuse themselves in cases about gay and straight issues? Can they, are, have you ever heard of a judge saying, oh, well, this issue on uh, straight marriage versus gay marriage? Well, I'm straight, so I'm obviously biased, so I can't rule on it. <laughs> Never, right? So why does a gay judge have to do it? But anyway, this guy's willing to do it anyway. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, man. To Republicans, it doesn't matter what you do. If you're gay, they hate you. They hate you. They despise you. They're going to discriminate against you in every way, shape, and form. Go ahead, gay folks. So vote for Republicans. See how that turns out. Some of them are still donating to Republicans. Genius idea.